What's going on guys? It's Jordan back today with another video. And in today's second video, we're gonna take a look at Zillica and see what it's doing on the four hour, the daily, and the weekly time frame. At the end of this video, we're also gonna take a look at the Bitcoin dominance to see if it's pointing to an altcoin run within the next couple weeks. So if that good, sounds good to you guys, and you guys are new to, uh, to my channel here, make sure you guys press that subscribe button down below if you guys enjoyed today's content. I'll know if you guys press that subscribe button. I'll know. But as we jump on in to the four hour chart here, as you guys can see, we've been in this bull flag literally since um, the end of December, right? So this is a long-term bull flag. You guys can see the, the pull on this thing. So you guys can only imagine the measured move. And um, we're due for a breakout soon. Obviously, we did have a fake out to the downside down here, but we then we went right back into it and got another rejection right at the top of this bull flag. But we have a couple different things um, playing out here. You guys can see um, we just got rejected at the top of this bull flag. Now, we have this um, new um, kind of support line coming through here that um, could make us break out of this by the 19th of um, January, right? So the next three days, we could break out of this bull flag either to the upside or to the downside. Um, we also have the um, I have the 104-hour uh, EMA and the 204-hour uh, EMA um, painted here. Um, this orange line right now, we you guys can see we wicked right to it, right, and then went right back up. So as of right now, this 104-hour is keeping us as support. So if we continue to hold this and this thing keeps coming up like this, we could even get a breakout even sooner as we get really consolidated into here, right? But that doesn't have to happen. Um, you guys can see it, it does hold us as support a lot. You guys can see all throughout here before actually breaking down there. Um, so it, it could make us break out sooner. We also have the um, 200 on the four hour, which usually holds us as support as well. Um, and right here. Um, so we have two very, very important EMAs coming that are now in fully into the bull flag um, above the halfway point. So we have a lot of support being played out here. Um, obviously, we've consolidated. Um, we have, in, in total, we dropped um, about 46% on Zill. So we did get a very, very healthy retracement after Zill uh, had a very, very big run up, as you guys can see um, here, this big run up. We did have a nice um, consolidation and um, retracement. So that's very, very healthy for Zill in the long term. Um, you know, look for if we do break. Um, this uh, 100 four hour EMA. Um, look for us to hold this green line. If we don't, I think it's possible we come back down and retest the bottom of this uh, bull flag support, right? So um, look for that at, on the bearish side. On the bullish side, if we can hold this four hour as support and get a push up, um, if we can break out of this resistance, we're going to get a massive move to the upside, guys. Uh, but either way, right now, um, we could go to the downside or to the upside. I would just really, really take a close look at this uh, 104 hour EMA and this upward support that we've been getting um, you know, for the last couple of days or so. So that's the four hour guys. Uh, nothing really else to talk about there. Um, if we switch on over to the weekly, I just wanna show you guys uh, how bullish we actually are. Um, you guys can see uh, we've gotten two really good retracements on Zill, which have been really healthy. Um, like I said, this, this one was 56%. And the current one we were just in from top to bottom was 45%. So two very, very healthy corrections. Um, this one we're actually holding support and we flipped our old um, resistance back here, our support back here. And now it is our support again, which is big, right? And I'm gonna look for a bounce off that at some point. Um, it, it always is likely that we can get another wick down here, but um, I mean, it's it's a battle against the bears and the bulls right now. You guys can see the massive buying pressure and the massive sell pressure on the top side. So uh, it, it's a coin flip on where this one goes short term, but um, things are looking good. Um, it, it, we, we're pretty much doing the same thing where we did, where we're supporting resistance flipping the whole time. Um, you guys can see at our first pump, right? We came back down um, to retest. Um, you know, this as support and hold that. Um, and then we got another pump up, right? Another pump up, came back down, make sure this was support. Um, you guys can see there, we pumped up, came back down, touched that as support, and then moved up again, and it came back down, and then retested 
this as support um, before coming back up and now we're holding this as support. So constant support and resistance flips is exactly what you wanna see in a bull market. Um, that's pretty much the name of the game for the weekly chart. I look to see if we're holding old resistance as new support. If we are, that tells me we're gonna continue up to the upside personally, but um, don't take that for trading advice, right guys? We gotta watch what Bitcoin does. Um, we are seeing a lot of altcoins fly off today with Bitcoin being slightly stagnant or going down. So um, it is possible um, we could see some of the altcoins kind of decoupling from Bitcoin a little bit. But um, normally, if Bitcoin goes down, we're going to see the altcoins go down as well. So I'm going to go with past results equals future results. That's my philosophy. Um, so um, if Bitcoin continues its dump that it's having right now, um, we could see some of the altcoins dump and Zillica could retest the bottom of this um, bull flag. But anyways, um, let's look on the Zillica Bitcoin chart. We're getting a bounce on the Zill Bitcoin chart, um, a, a lot like the other altcoins, right? We're kind of flipping old resistance as new support on this as well. Um, you guys can see right here, um, we're pretty much flipping our old resistance here. Pumped, now we're flipping it as support. Could lead to another big pump. I like that we're making consecutive, um, if we zoom out a little bit here, I like how we're making um, consecutive higher lows here. Um, that, that's pretty bullish to me. Um, which, which could point to a major another move to the upside. Um, but there's really not much going on on the Zill Bitcoin chart. I looked for any like RSIs or, um, you know, EMAs that might hold it, you know, show us a little like, you know, bullish divergence, uh, bearish divergence. There was really nothing on the RSI there. So there's not really much to talk about on the Zill Bitcoin chart, but I just want to take a look at it quickly. I do like the higher lows. Um, we also got higher highs. Um, so um, we'll, we'll wait and see on this, but a, a lot like a lot of the altcoins are getting a nice bounce right now on key support, uh, which I do like to see, right? So um, as we switch on over to the next chart, I wanted to take a look at it, the quick look at the Bitcoin dominance at the end of this video today. And uh, it's still going as planned, right? You guys, if you guys have been watching any of my videos lately, um, we've talked about the Bitcoin dominance and this trend line. You know, we've gotten multiple resistances at this trend line. Um, and we're pretty much getting squeezed in between this support, right? We did have a fake out to the bottom, but on um, this support and this resistance, and we got a nice, we're getting, we got a nice rejection here. We're getting a nice move to the downside. Now we're seeing all coins pop off while Bitcoin stays a little bit of a stagnant, which is kind of healthy for the market, right? You want to see a little bit of a uh, altcoin action because the uh, Bitcoin dominance was getting um, pretty high. Uh, we were seeing our higher, higher, highest highs really since um, 2017. So, um, a little bit of cool off is nice here. And I'm, I'm honestly, at this point, um, we are at a key point right now, but I wouldn't be surprised if this comes back down to the bottom here to retest this uh, before Bitcoin gets another run up. So um, that that's pretty much the Bitcoin dominance, guys. I'm liking what I'm seeing on this um, as far as, you know, returns for altcoin goes. I think, um, you know, in this, in this bull run, we're going to see a lot um, of, you know, downwards, um, you know, we're going to see a lot of, Altcoin rally, Bitcoin rally, altcoin rally, Bitcoin rally. And so we really get in here and one way or the other, we're going to get a massive, massive pump, probably Bitcoin to the upside, honestly, um, on the dominant. So we, you guys can see the similar thing happened um, back here in uh, all throughout 2014 to 2017. You probably had like, uh, you know, altcoin run, Bitcoin run, altcoin run, Bitcoin run, altcoin run, Bitcoin run. Altcoin run, Bitcoin run, and major <laughs> altcoin run, right? So um, something like that could happen as we squeeze in here where we get a major move like this coming back down. But we'll see what happens, guys. Um, that's the video on Zill today. Just make sure you guys are watching this bull flag um, and watching these key supports to see if we're going to actually break out of this or move to the downside. So um, hope you guys enjoyed today's two videos. If you guys didn't watch the other one, go check it out. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you press that subscribe button if you enjoyed today's content. I'd really appreciate it. I definitely would. <laughs> but I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.